New information regarding the 14th Gen Intel Core i914900K and the i714700K benchmark has just been leaked by the Babco Crossmark CPU database. We know for sure that the performance of the new generation of chips is going to be improved. But one thing we are uncertain how big of an improvement we can expect. To find out the answer, we will compare the i914900K against the i913900K based on the information we currently have. Looking at the specs, the upcoming core i914900K processor might house similar 24 cores and 32 threads as its predecessor, including the 8 performance and 16 efficiency cores which will also remain the same. However, the clock speed on this processor is likely to get a significant boost. We can see that the new i914900K will feature 3.2 GHz and it will go up to 6.0 GHz. Whereas the i914900K has a base clock speed of 3.0 GHz and boosted clock speed of up to 5.8 GHz. It is impressive, but at the same time, it is at the same level as the i914900K's. So even though the 14900K Gen processor is getting a faster clock speed compared to the i914900K, the performance remains the same as the current generation's top-tier processor. However, the 14th Gen chips could potentially yield advancements from an alternate perspective. For instance, enhanced DDR5 memory control might usher an improved performance compared to the prevailing 13th Gen processor. This highlights the subtle nature of technological progress, where enhancements might not always be linear but can appear through diverse routes offering users improved capabilities and experiences beyond just clock speeds. It's clear that Intel's upcoming desktop chips will involve a comprehensive overhaul of the current Raptor Lake architecture referred to as the Raptor Lake Refresh. However, the 14th Gen Meteor Lake desktop processors won't arrive anytime soon. While laptops featuring Meteor Lake chips are set to debut this year alongside Raptor Lake Refresh desktop chips, the option of swiftly acquiring the 14th Gen Meteor Lake desktop processor remains distant. If your aim was to secure the Meteor Lake processor of the 14th Gen at the earliest opportunity transitioning to a laptop currently stands as the sole available choice. This option showcases how Intel is adopting a phased approach to introducing its latest advancements allowing users to explore innovative technologies on laptops while desktop users await their turn. For the motherboard, Intel's plan involves maintaining compatibility through the existing LGA1700 socket for the chip. This means that if you possess a 600 or 700 series motherboard designed for your 13th gen processor, there's no necessity for an extra purchase. This setup appears quite favorable given that you only have to execute a straightforward BIOS upgrade. By doing so, you can seamlessly unlock support for the upcoming 14th gen processor. This approach underscores Intel's commitment to ensuring a relatively smooth transition for users allowing them to harness the benefits of the new generation without a major overhaul in hardware. This continuity and socket compatibility not only simplifies the process for existing motherboard owners but also potentially offers a cost-effective solution for those aiming to upgrade. As the industry advances such thoughtful measures help strike a balance between technological progress and user convenience while also taking sustainability and cost-effectiveness into account. As we said earlier, we won't be seeing the 14th Gen Meteor Lake desktop chips this year. However, K-series processors such as the 14600, 14700K and 14900K featuring Raptor Lake Refresh architecture are likely to get released in the middle of October this year. According to the latest leaks and rumors, the official announcement will take place at this year's Intel Innovation Day on September 19th. Wrapping up the price tag for the upcoming 14th gen processor won't be much different. At the moment, the Intel i913900K processor costs $569, assuming a similar price tag for the i914900K. If you're looking for the best value, then the Intel i913900K can be a great choice right now. However, if you don't mind waiting for a while and want completely new hardware and CPU for your PC, then the i914900K is surely worth the pick. So which one do you prefer the most? 
Core, i914900K or Core i913900K? Let us know in the comments below.